no! I'm missing part of the formula. Probably just gonna kill me. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, what was it? Relationship you have with your stuffed dog. What was this that? is not the time to be talking about the dog. Look at my formula. It's missing. What about the convention? Huh? How are we going to get to that? Huh? Don't know me. You are avoiding the issue at hand. What issue? Oh, yeah, you know, that, that problem issue. No. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving. Don't avoid the problems. I'm Brahma Gupta, and this is Brahma Gupta's formula. Brahma Gupta's formula works for all cyclic polygons to find the area. Right now, we're using the cyclic quadrilater quadrilateral for the example. A cyclic polygon is a polygon inscribed in a circle. All the sides are A, B, C, and D. To find the semi-perimeter, for the area, to find the area, you need to add all the sides together, which would be 8, 4, 3, and 5, and divide that by 2. You would get the semi-parameter of 10. Then, you plug in, then you take the square root of the semi-perimeter minus each of the sides times each other. For this example, we would get 2 times 7 times 6 times 5. You will get the answer of root 420, which we know simplifies into 2 root 150. And that would be our answer. Now, we will do a slightly harder problem using my formula. We are going to find the shaded area of the circle. So, first let's find the area of the circle, which would be pi r squared, the radius is 9, so it's 81 pi. Now, we need to find the area of the quadrilateral inscribed in the circle. So, first we need to find the semi-perimeter, which is each of this, which is the perimeter, all added together, the perimeter divided by 2, which will give you 9 in this equation. The semi-perimeter is plugged into the equation as well as sides. You get 4 times that by 5, times that by 6, times that by 2. And that squared gets to root 240. So now you take, so now 240, root 240 reduces down to 4 root 15. Then you take the area of the circle, which is 81 pi, minus the area of the quadrilateral, which is 4 root 15, which is your answer. Thank you, This is my formula. First, you need to find out the semi-perimeter, which is all the sides added together, then divided by 2. In this problem, it is 6. Then, we're going to use Hero's formula, which is the square root of the semi-perimeter times the quantities 
semi-perimeter minus side one, semi-perimeter uh, minus side two, and semi-perimeter minus side three. So then you would get six times three times two times one, which will get you the area six. Now for another example of how to use Hero's formula. Since we know that this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we can use that knowledge to figure out what x and y equals, which y would equal 6 and x would equal 3 root 3. And then you would add that to the side we already know, which is 3, divided by 2 to get the semi-perimeter, which is 9 plus 3 root 3 divided by 2. Now to conclude this problem, we shall plug it into the formula. Using the semi-perimeter of 9 plus 3 root 3 over 2, we plug it in. Now, you might want to use your calculator for this one. It is a difficult problem. And your answer will be 9 root 3 over 2. In review, yo yo yo, it's Hero. What? Oh, it's Bravo Gupta. Formulas, formulas. Heroes, formulas. The area of a triangle equals square root of semi-perimeter times semi-perimeter minus a, semi-perimeter minus b, and semi-perimeter minus c. Bravo Gupta's formula. The area of a cyclic polygon equals square root of semi-perimeter minus A, semi-perimeter minus B, semi-perimeter minus C, and semi-perimeter minus D. Formulas! Formulas! That is the end. You have just watched an episode of Brahmi Gupta. Yes. Oh! Heroes!